In order to keep your database clean and sync with your drawing, you should perform regular database maintenance. This makes sure that any components that you delete from your drawing are also deleted from the database. This is a simple procedure that only takes a few clicks. So from the project manager, when you open your project or periodically throughout your project while you're working on a drawing, come up to the chapter heading and we're going to right click. So if we look down at the lower end of this dialog box here, you'll see the audit project and compress database. So audit project just runs that check to make sure everything's synced. And if there's any issues inside the database itself, it'll run the audit and fix any errors that you have. When we compress the database, this actually gets rid of any extra fields. When the graphic's deleted, it cleans out any orphaned entities that are still left in the database. So to audit the project, we just right click and go ahead and run audit. And you'll see there when it checked through, there was no errors found. So it goes through and checks all the records and you'll see it here checks the tables. So we're looking at the engineering, non-engineering, pipeline group, signal line group, and there were no errors found. So let's go back up again and we're going to right click and we're going to compress the database. Now we're going to have two options here. If you're working in your project, like I said, it's always good to practice to be constantly running an audit and just do a compressed database. So the two options we have is if you compress the database without purging the history, it means that you can go back and undo. So if you're working in a drawing, maybe hit this every now and again and use that first option. When you're finished with your drawing and when you open your drawing, I would suggest you always run a database